Hello legends and super legends. Welcome to Velo Harmony. Today I'm doing something a little different. I want to show you guys how to save your jerseys. I don't know if you've had these kind of problems that it can happen. Whether you say you have a fall and your jersey tears, you know, you crash. Or uh, in this example that I'm using, my, my Giro jersey I got probably three years ago or so. Uh, it's long in the tooth and you know, I carry a lot of stuff in my pocket I put a lot of miles on this jersey because it's one of my favorite especially in the summer because it's white so It's reached the point where this has happened to the pocket Santini did a great job of Stitching the thing so well, so I'm bringing it close to the camera so you guys can see they stitched it so well there But let me do it this way and Hopefully the camera will do it justice it's stitched to where the stitching is in place, but the fabric show the weakness right there. You see the holes? So the, the stitching is in place, but I've put so much stuff in here. You know, I put bidons in there and so forth. This other one is the same way. They stitched it so well, but the fabric is stretching. So the, the stitching is in place, but because the fabric is not as tough, it's stretching. And that's, that can happen to any jersey. And so... Uh, the sides look okay as far as how they stitched it. I looked on the inside when I decided to do this video. It's still secure, so I don't think I would bother with that. But what I decided to do was I'm going to patch the jersey. So I got an iron-on patch. I got this from Target. You can go online. Amazon sells them. The reason I got this, this is um, almost like a canvasy kind right here, okay? It, it's an iron-on patch. And, you know, you can use them to patch any kind of fabric. They've got tougher ones like you can use to patch jeans. But the key is that since this is a polyester, you use your iron on the polyester setting and you let this sit long enough to where it will stick. And I'm going to do it on the inside to reinforce the jersey. The reason I'm using this color is because this jersey has that design in the back. And turn it like this. This design in the back has that color. I got close to it. I mean, you can do white if you want it, but I kind of wanted to make it interesting. And down here, they got the same, a similar color. And so I decided that if it does show through, it would look really cool. So I'm just going to cut maybe about the size of a nickel piece to put in these two spots. That, that's stretching because this, the, 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 the seam is fine. And uh, I may end up doing the same thing on, on my team kit because the team kit fabric is even more fragile than this one. And I have a feeling that even though the stitching is just as good as this, the fabric itself may give because you're pulling on something that's weak. So that's why I went with this canvasy kind. What I'm going to do is I will only iron it. I will iron it and then I will stitch it into this stitching that Santini already has in there so that I iron it all on the inside and then take a needle and thread and stitch it into this so that any pulling will be happening on this fabric and not the weaker one. So I'm going to make it big enough to where it, it sits to where maybe, like I said, the size of a nickel. And I'll show you the final result when I'm done. So all I'm going to do is go upstairs now and put it on the ironing board, set the iron on Poly, polyester setting. You want to set the iron on the setting for the jersey, not this patch. This patch can take um, five, which is cotton on most irons, but you don't do that. You, you put the setting on the setting for the fabric that you're trying to protect, and you'll just have to do the ironing longer because the, the heat is less till this thing irons on. And, and I'm not depending on the iron on capability. I will use that just so it sticks initially. But like I said, I'm going to use a needle and thread and stitch that area into this so that anytime it pulls, it will be pulling this thing and not this fabric. And so this will be the test garment because the first time I've done it, but theoretically, I mean, I've seen it done theoretically. So if this works as planned, I will find a, another one. I'll probably use black or white on the team kit and do the same thing to protect the air before it even gets to that point because I like to put stuff in my pocket and when I reach in there, I don't want to be worried about it. I carry the gimbal and other things. So 
this happened a while ago and I got the idea that, you know, this jersey, Paul said, oh man, I really like that jersey on you because I was thinking about it. I told him about it. I said, man, this is kind of the pockets tearing. And so I figured, hey, this will extend the life of this jersey. So I'll do that and then I'll show you the end result. All right, legends, I moved over to uh, the laundry area to continue this uh, experiment that I'm doing. I, I, theoretically, it should work. This is what they do. The professional seamstress, you know, they charge you like 50 bucks to do stuff like this. This stuff is like the kit. The whole kit does like six or eight sheets of this thing. I just cut the little pieces here with, a, with scissors. I made them long because I want to go across the, the stitching as well. And uh, it's like $2.83 at Target for that. I bought a sewing kit, you know, which I was stitched. Like, you don't have to sew, but I, I'm choosing to sew because what I want to do is not only cover that area, but I want to also put the stitching on the pocket into this thing. So any tugging will be, this will be reinforcing the fabric. So what I've done is I set this, this, this iron has a setting called synthetics. Your iron may have polyester or something that's what applies for our jersey do not put it on cotton or high or whatever that's too hot for our jerseys so the first thing you want to do is you want to heat up this stuff i learned this a long time you know when i was growing up my mother used to at you know used to sew and so i learned a lot from that i mean you know i'm thankful for it now but i wasn't too happy about it i used to have to come help her hold stuff instead of going outside to play soccer and stuff like that, but you know, I learned from that. So the first thing you want to do is warm this a little bit. And some of the instructions will tell you the same thing. You can get this stuff on Amazon if you want to. I just looked online, found it. It was look, it was near Target. I have a store within two miles from my house, and I just drove there and picked it up. Bought it online, picked it up. It was quick. Didn't have to go look for anything. They had it set up. So the whole thing cost me eight bucks. <clears throat> as far as the sewing kit, this stuff was like two or three dollars and I bought a sewing kit because I wanted my own because I went and looked at my wife's sewing kit and not only does she not keep the needle threaded, I couldn't even find the needle. So I wanted my own where I can keep it organized and, you know, and go on with my projects. What I plan on doing this to most of the jerseys I care about because other than the new Rafa jerseys that we got, a lot of them are not reinforced. The ones that have Tougher fi fabrics like winter jerseys and stuff is not an issue. It's these summer jerseys with the synthetics that are real thin and breathable. That's what has the problem. So now that I've, I've warmed it up a little bit, I'm just going to lay the patch across the hole. And I'm letting it cover where the stitching is. Because on this jersey, the hole is above the stitching. So I make, that's why I made the patch long. So that it will cover not only the hole, but go over the stitching. And now we'll use needle and thread and stitch through it where the stitching is once once it adheres so i'm just going to place the iron since it's not very hot i'm going to have to do this for a period of time and it's not warm enough i may heat it up a little let me see maybe put it on wool they have a setting for wool or silk maybe wool we'll do wool I think if your iron has polyester, that's more specific. I think it will work better. Or permanent press or something like that. Yeah. Now it's sticking. So what I did is I moved it to wool slash silk. It's one of these fancy irons. Um, I don't know where I got it from. It's a steam. I, make sure you turn off the steam. If you have a steam iron, do not use steam. Turn the steam off. This one's easy. It has a switch right here. I don't iron very frequently, so I just know that this iron is fancy. I got it a long time. I think I must have gotten it from Front Gate Online. I, I don't do stores very often, so my wife uses it more than I do. I take most of my regular clothes to the cleaners. They're pretty inexpensive, and uh, cycling clothes, you know, we don't need to iron them. So I don't iron very often. See, it's sticking. I want to show you guys. Let me take it off. You can see it's beginning to stick. It's sitting on there. So I'm going to keep doing it because I want to make sure it does not come off in the wash. So while that is doing, so I put it on wool slash silk, uh, which makes sense since, you know, this is almost might as well be silk because it's that delicate. But wool slash silk is hotter than 
the synthetic setting on this iron. This iron does, uh, has it must be one of the modern ones. They're using different names. It's like we got colors instead of blue. We got all kinds of other fancy colors in between the spectrum now. But anyway, polyester setting, silk setting, synthetics, permanent press. On this iron, the synthetic was too low, so I went to wool, and that's what's working. So wool should work, and it's sticking. So I'm going to do the second one here. The arm on this jersey has the same color of the patch that I'm using, and that's why I decided to go with that. If you have a white jersey and you just want to use a white patch, that's fine. These are iron arm patches that will work on jeans as well. The reason I picked these because it's actually fabric and it's tough. It's like cloth. It's not polyester or whatever. They have polyester uh, patches out there. For this purpose, I don't think they would work as well because I needed something that would be tougher than the fabric I'm trying to protect. So I'm using something that you could patch holes in your jeans with. And that's what this is. I want it to be tough. So when I load up the pocket and it's working, it's sticking on there. So I'm just going to let it, I'm just going to heat it up a little longer. I'm trying to make sure that when I wash this sucker, it doesn't come off. I don't think it will because I'm going to stitch through it. But I want to show you guys and girls. This is how you can extend the life of your jersey. That's been my pet peeve with a lot of the jerseys is because the industry behaves as if to say it should just expire, you know, in a year or two. Yeah, just get a new one. Well, where I grew up, we don't think like that. We fix things, you know? It's kind of like somebody comes to your house, like the guys come to this house. This is an older house, home that we got a deal on. That's why we got it. Nobody else wanted it because it needed some work. Well, you know, I worked in construction when I was in high school. So I knew that the, the structure or the base of the house was good. If the foundation is good, everything, you know, it just needed a roof, some TLC stuff. And, you know, we factored that into the offer and we got the house, we got it. Now, you know, it's like, wow, good deal. I love the layout and everything. It just made sense. But anyway, I digress. But the guys that came to this house, House of Building 92, telling me that, oh, your, your AC, your AC is too old. Instead of coming to fix my AC, tell me I need a compressor or whatever. No, it's too old. I got to get a new one. I ended up telling this one guy, well, we need to kill you since you're old too. You're older than my AC. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know we need to just kill you we don't you don't need to go to the doctor when something's wrong with you you're too old just shoot yourself in the head you know that's you know, like, <laughs> anyway <laughs> needless to say he fixed my ac and left telling me want to sell you the new stuff got their own problems so if, it, if, it, if it's not going to work anymore and it stops working and the cost of fixing it is close or ridiculous to where it makes more sense to get a new one, I'm not averse to that. But, I'm, you know, why don't we repair as far as instead of just assuming we got to replace, you know? <laughs> so both of my cars are older than my kids. You know, I got a 17 and an 18 year old car. And I've taken care of them. I've kept them in good condition. They drive well. They still look good. They still work. I can spend my energies on other things. Instead of keeping up with the latest models, they got their own, their new, their own problems. Anyway, I think this will be good. This is a good test. So now, let me stop there. So I want to show you guys, those of you who saw the whole first, I'm going to flip the jersey over. Let me show you the other side first. So what I've done is I've patched. I did a long patch so that it goes from where the hole was and over where the stitching is on the pocket because I'm going to stitch through there so that any future pulls will be pulling on this thing, not the jersey. Same thing here. That's why I made the patch long. The stitching is here. The hole is there. Now when I flip it over so I can show you the hole that you saw before. Now look, remember when I stretched this thing before in the room, there was a hole there. Look, you can't even tell. Even though I used a different color, you can't tell. It looks white. What it does is basically it pulls the fabric together. I don't want to pull it too hard because it's still curing, 
but I want to do this so you can see because you guys saw it before. So what happens, it doesn't matter what color you use under there. What that thing does is it pulls the fabric together and it brings the fibers together. So you're not going to see the thing that you put underneath there on this side because it, it squeezes everything back together, gives it more rigidity. That's what, so it, it pinched them in a way. That's why they look like that, but the holes are gone and it's reinforced. And by me taking needle and thread now and stitching through here, right there into this fabric, the reinforcement, all the future poles would be pulling the reinforcement, not this guy. And even if I didn't do that, it would probably be okay. But I just want to do that for peace of mind. That's my ADD. So that's it. That's how you restore. You can see the little outline. And that's what they do in the factory. Rafa did that on one of the jerseys. Remember the copy jersey I did a review on? Rafa did that on that. And that's how you, you keep your cycling jersey going so now this is three years old it's got thousands and thousands of miles on it probably about two three thousand miles on it because i use it a lot especially in the summer now i can use it some more instead of scrapping it so thanks to paul who was telling me hey i like seeing this jersey on you because i was thinking about man this is long in the tooth and now the jersey has a new lease on life look at that You see the outline of the patch, which is cool. That's the same way the Rafa jersey looked. For those of you who saw my review, that's how they do it at the factory. You iron that sucker in there. And what they should have done was they should have done this at Santini. Put that on there and then run your machine over that. I don't have a sewing machine, so I'm going to use needle and thread. It's just as effective. What I want to summarize with is this is not just for stretches at the, the pocket area, which does happen. If you have a crash, in a jersey, a minor fall, and you got a hole, just get a patch that's big enough to cover that area, just like I just did, and iron it on there. Just make sure the iron is not hot enough to harm the jersey. So I use wool on here. Just don't use cotton setting, because that's like the highest setting, and it will melt your jersey. And just be patient and run it over the patch. Cut the patch bigger than the hole, put it on the inside, it will bring the fabric back together. Now, if it's a crash wear, the fabric has been torn away. There's nothing for it to bring back. Make sure the color of the patch you pick is close to the jersey. They won't see it. So if the jersey is blue, get navy blue or black or blue or black. Just close to that color. You know, because they sell all kinds of colors. This is what I'm going to do to my Velo Harmony jerseys. They're not damaged, but I'm going to do it as a preventive measure because I like to put stuff in, especially that gimbal I stick in the middle. Anything that can pull that thing because the stitching is great from Santini, but the fabric has a limit, a tensile strength. And that's what this was about. You could see that the stitching was good. The fabric after a while it just gives, you know, the elastic gives. So now I got a new lease on life. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. And I hope that this is something useful, but use it. You can use it on your, your shorts. Uh, you know, if the hole's small enough, I mean, if it's really big, then you got to retire the short, depending on how bad the crash was. But little holes and little things like if your saddlebag wears a hole in your short and it's maybe the size of a quarter or something like that, man, you can use one of these things and patch it up. And you can, you know, nobody's going to notice that and cover that. There's a lot of ways you can extend the life of these garments. These garments are not cheap. So legends, and I just wanted to show you guys the final product. If you look on here, you can see a little bit of the patches. That's why I picked that color. But anyway, through the garments has protected it. But the biggest thing I want to show you, I'll start from inside. So after ironing that to secure the fact, because this jersey had a hole in it, what I did is I stitched right there where you see the stitching is. I stitched right on the area that gets the most pressure, which is right there. I just use the needle and thread. If you have a machine and you're adept, you can do that, but it would be overkill. All I did was I went in and out and just put the stitch just in this area. So now when anything pulls on this pocket, it's not going to be pulling this material anymore because it's attached to that harder fabric that I put on the inside. And so you can see how solidly this attaches and the fabric is not being stretched anymore. 
so that it's reinforced. I did the same thing on this side, just stitching right there. You don't need to come any further down because this is the weakest point because this thing is so tough that at this point it was pulling the fabric. So now with the reinforcement just in that area, I ironed it on first because it had a hole. If it doesn't have a hole and you're just reinforcing your, your jerseys to prevent this from happening, you don't necessarily need to iron it if you don't want to. But I like to iron it because it stays in, in place. So you can see just in that area, I just did the stitching right there, which is right there. So basically now, any pressure on the pocket pulls the entire fabric, not just this area and not this light fabric anymore. So you've basically strengthened that area. And there, the jersey has a new life. So you can kind of see just the outline of the reinforcement in the background and that firms it up. So I'm going to do the same thing on my new kit, even though it's not a problem now, I'm going to just reinforce right there, put black about the size of a dime on the inside and just stitch that through it so that anything in the pocket will be pulling. It will not affect the jersey itself. I wanted to uh, share this with you guys. I just got back from a ride. I wanted to show you what I did to reinforce the team kit. I cut these small pieces of the patch. I did not iron it on there. I just cut them and cut it long enough to where it would just go over the spot where the jersey is stitched into the pocket right there. So right on this spot. So instead of that pulling on the jersey now, it's actually pulling on this patch. So now this fabric being real thin, it's not going to be stretched over time. So it really reinforces the jersey. Then I also went on the corner where the pocket goes into the side of the jersey here. They had run these little circular threads. Let me see if I can do it this way so you can see. See, they had stitched it in a circle, but it was kind of weak. So I just took a gray thread and I went just over the area where the thickness of that pocket elastic, the reflector goes in here and I reinforced that. So it's not going to be pulled out. I think that's what they should have done at the factory. That's about the only thing I would change about the jersey. I did it on both sides. So I just went ahead and just basically put the needle in and just looped it repeatedly for just the width of that elastic band that you can see right there. That's the distance. And I reinforced it. So now it's not going to easily be pulled out of there. Cause I noticed that when I would pull on it, I could literally see the threads. Now you can't. And all that does is just reinforce the stuff. Cause I carry a lot of stuff in the summer. I'll stick a bead on in here and so forth. So I just reinforce that. Now, when I pull on this Jersey there, you don't even see the threads anymore. Before I did that, you would see the thread. And I promise I would do this to just let uh, some of the, the guys who bought the team kit, like Joe and then Frankie just bought some to just know that it's an option. You don't have to do that. It will probably take three to four years before that, that became an issue, but this way it prevents it from becoming an issue. So I just wanted to add that. So I just want to share that with you guys. So get the miles in, stay safe out there.